This is an honest review of Prey 2017. Let's take a look, look, look. Okay, so let's start with the settings. Um, the graphical settings are really nice. The graphics themselves are, are nice. And all of the keys can be rebound. By the way, during this playthrough, if you see some really weird stuff, or maybe like, well, why in the world did he do this? What's wrong with him? Does he have a freaking disease or something? No, I am recently have been convinced to try to use TGFH instead of Wasad. So this playthrough... <laughs> was a very big challenge for me uh, for a game to choose to do that so yeah I just want to put that disclaimer out there okay so this game is really good this game is very good uh, I've heard from one of my buddies who said he just thought it was awful and then I watched a couple of videos of people saying that they thought it was great and I think it's very good I played on normal difficulty and for once normal actually was a challenge you don't have to go up to hard or extremely hard just to get a decent challenge so the story in this game is set on this space station and <clears throat> you play as a man or woman named Morgan and stuff goes down now there isn't going to be any spoilers here so you can watch this complete review knowing you know you're gonna know what you get in if you buy this game and knowing that there's not gonna be any spoilers so you're going through these tests in the very beginning of the game and then stuff goes down there are these enemies that are Typhon they're a type of alien sort of race and there's all kinds there's these little freaks called mimics who will transform into items or objects around just anywhere that you're around you can go pick up the med kit and then this freak will just turn into the spider gooey thing and just jump on you and rape your face there's these big beastie boys called phantoms and they kind of you know they're like your average little hitters but then there is other versions of phantoms so you might find like a fire phantom and then like an electric phantom and they're big like they're a lot more annoying and then there's all i mean there's all kinds of enemies i don't want to tell you about uh, all of them because i want you to go check this out yourself but the enemies are very challenging and I love the strategy while you're fighting them. This game is not a sprint. This is a marathon. This is for the one person that loves to collect everything. You're searching everything. You're picking up everything. It's a very satisfying grind. It, it, okay. Uh, I use grind in its loosest terms. It's not really, it, actually it's not in a grind at all but you're constantly having the loot and constantly on the lookout all throughout the base it is a uh, an open sort of area so you can go anywhere on the base that you want and you're not tethered to just doing the main quest if you don't want to do the main quest you can just do side quests the entire time okay not the entire time but you can spend a few hours working on just side missions and get really getting immersed into the other characters on the ship and just getting immersed into the situation that you're in in general and that is one thing that these side missions do do they don't really feel like side missions i mean they feel like they are essential to essential to helping the situation that you're in. So that's very good. I mean, that should be what side missions do. They're there to support the main mission, and this does them so well. So while we're talking about the exploring the side missions and roaming around the space station, the one big tool that you get in this game is this glue gun. Now, guys, this glue gun is just absolutely amazing. You can go anywhere with this damn thing you shoot these balls of glue well it's like a it looks like a rock type of foam that you shoot on the wall and you can use it to access areas that you wouldn't normally be able to so i mean you can see the amount of possibilities you can do with that you can find different ways to get around um, you know other areas it helps with stealthing and it also helps in combat see back when i was talking about the phantoms or any of them and the mimics some enemies they're not as effective against the glue like certain variants of the phantom like especially the fire phantom uh or just you know just other enemies as well most enemies are affected by the glue gun and you can harden them up and you can use it as a tactical move to use in combat you can freeze them in place and then get a couple hits or you can use it as a getaway you can blow them up or freeze them in place and then hightail your ass out of there and you know carry on so this glue gun is just it's really incredible and it really is what makes the game so good so the crafting in this game is it's just i just i love it it makes you think about what you're crafting because resources are very limited and but they're not too limited 
limited. They're not too annoying, but you do have to think about the stuff you use. So the way the crafting works is you collect junk. You collect junk all throughout the game, and then you put them in this recycler build. Put them in this recycling machine, you hit OK, it breaks down all of the materials that you put in into its organic compounds. You then take those items and then you can put it into the building machine. I, f I forgot what it's called. It's like the synthesizer or something. I don't remember. But then you put all of the material from the recycler into the building machine. And in here, it's sort of like a souped up crazy 3D printer. Okay. Except instead of printing models of it, it actually just develops the actual item that you want. So you can make weapons. You can make, this is where you make ammo. You can make uh, med kits, which I was making a whole lot. There's certain quest items that you can make. You you, you pretty much you make every everything, everything that you will need. You make in here. Now the way that you unlock the abilities to do this is you'll find blueprints all over the game that will allow you, that will tell you, hey, this is how much of this that you need to make this, and then you just put it in. If you've managed your stuff right and you don't just blast off a whole lot of stuff a couple of times, I made too much of one and then I left the area, ran out of supplies. I was like, damn, I really wish I would have made maybe one more med kit or maybe like uh, one more side drink or whatever no i mean that's the name of the game so and then you can also make neuro mods in here as well so that'll help you level up quicker and that really it, yeah just the, the crafting is just brilliant you use those mods to unlock certain perks now in the beginning you only have human traits which is like a doctor you know sort of perks you can get mechanic perks maybe like repair perks and all that i, I forgot what their actual names are but um, but then later on you unlock the alien abilities now these abilities are very powerful I didn't really go into all of them because you kind you want to you want to dabble a little bit in most of the human perks but the alien perks I found myself really just focusing in on this psi wave thing so you shoot this little yellow thing like this little yellow area and then it just explodes it does massive damage uh, I found myself really using that a lot super powerful and you can level that up right but the thing with the alien skills is you can only unlock the alien skills as you scan certain areas you'll get a tool later on in the game where you can scan aliens you take the data that you got out of them and then after you scan a certain amount then you unlock more chain abilities to you know abilities before so like you may have this is just an example let's say you had like a force push ability then you scan certain enemies again now you unlocked force push 2 or something like that and it's very good i i just this whole game is very immersive they don't rely on jump scares but you can you could argue though that the mimics are jump scares because i mean i guess they really are but it works it's so natural there's nothing unnatural about this game the world is very immersive the gunplay feels really good. Uh, you're constantly having to think, well, shoot, you know, <clears throat> if I go into this fight here, you know, what, how am I going, what weapons am I going to use? Because I've only got 12 rounds in my handgun, but I've got, you know, maybe three rounds in this. I've got 100 psi power for my alien abilities. So how do I want to do that? Well, maybe you don't want to fight at all. You can just find a way to sneak around. See, that's another thing, is when you're in areas, there are multiple ways that you can handle getting around areas. Most of the, if you don't want to, and you just want to make this purely stealth, now there is certain combat areas that you have to go into, I think, maybe that was just me, but you can sneak through and sneak past all of them. There's certain tree, there's a certain ability, I think it's the alien ability, um, that will enhance your stealthing abilities. So you can sneak better and just walk past everyone. It's great. I was more of a, I kind of did a hybrid build. Sometimes I found myself wanting to sneak, but I went more offense. So whenever I got caught, I knew I was going to be okay. Um, that's how I do that. I was really liking that. My main weapon I was using was the shotgun. Really good, really meaty. Uh, all the guns are really good. They're all good. You get a wrench, which is just... I love the wrench. The wrench was so effective. The silenced pistol, the shotgun, and then you get this. There's another weapon where you blast them with this green beam, and then you watch the beam fill up on their health. And then if it gets to the end, they explode. It's it's so good. It's just all of it's very natural. I haven't finished it yet. I'm about seven and a half hours in, and uh, I think I'm getting close. But I imagine you could probably make this game go as long or as short as you want. Um, just because, I mean, the amount of side quests and the amount of depth that is in this game is so good. It's so good. Uh, it's definitely worth the price. If you're looking to buy this game, 
Uh, if you can get it on a sale, it's a steal. But this game is definitely worth full price. Um, just the amount of just this is just this is a triple A game. This is what we should expect from a triple A game. This is a triple A game that stands up for triple A status, and it's just wonderful. So uh, definitely post in the comments how you guys feel about this, uh, whether or not you agree or disagree with me. I always appreciate your guys' uh, support and all your comments. So thanks so much for watching. See you in the next one.